So I'm here at my mom's for the weekend. That makes me so happy. I was getting very impatient and it was it was really bumming me out and getting me down. So I'm really very thankful to have an entire weekend here with my mom at her farm. We're going to go down to Tampa today <clears throat> for my twins' birthday party. They're turning 14 and we'll be back tonight and I'll get to spend tomorrow with my mom and I think that'll help. I think that'll help a lot. Mom set a tent up for this little girl and her baby chicks. And she said they're bantam teeny tiny little things. And my mom loves her chickens. She's protecting them with a tent that she bought just for them. Look at these little tiny eggs. These are from her girls that have just started laying. They're so tiny. Mom's got some guinea fowl that one of these chickens hatched out. Hi, babies. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you these lizards, because I doubt they'll let me get that close. It's a bad area. This is the chicken yard. Chickens will definitely eat them. They're so awesome. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're just gonna let me get that close, huh? Are you okay? That's so strange. Wow. I honestly expected them to run for the hills. So starting from like right here, everything that you can see is my mom's property. She has close to five acres. And it goes way down there. Way down there. And eventually, I'll be here a lot that's the chicken area they're trying to figure out like where could we do goats maybe here maybe in with the chickens where could we do our market garden maybe clear out some of those trees and do that it's, it's a nice bit of property she has plenty of space for animals and gardens i think one thing i find really cool is all the different mushrooms that you find growing out here. Um, we don't know anything about them, but we would like to have someone come out and tell us about them. And if they're edible, if any of them are edible, I think we would like to harvest some to eat and to sell. Just all kinds of different forms everywhere. You know, just I mean, look at this log here is completely covered, that one. And then I just saw over here, this one is huge. <clears throat> Hi, little froggy. How are you today? <laughs> That's a nice big patch of whatever. It's just absolutely gorgeous and serene out here. And I love it so much. I watched a video that said that this stuff was edible. Something else. There's another smaller patch of, of that. These are much smaller. She has lots and lots and lots of beauty berry growing on the property. And the chickens are helping to spread that. Lots of blackberries. So my plan here 
is to obviously help her with her chicken business, help that expand and grow. I want to get goats. I also want to get chickens uh, for myself that I want to raise um, for, you know, like breed for egg color and sell chicks, um, you know, purebred chicks and stuff. So, but I also want to have a market garden and a garden for ourselves um, so we can eat the food that we grow. And I also want to create a food forest for my mom's property. That's, that's really high up on the list of things that I want to do. I want us to be able to walk around and not only us, the, the people, but the animals. I want them to be able to eat from the land as well. Another type of fungus. I believe, I'm going to ask my mom and, and double check, but I believe this is the end of her property. That post down there. So all this is still pretty heavily wooded back here, or up here. And this trail um, is actually made by one of her neighbors. He owns 171 acres out here, 170. Um, so all this is his. There's a stream, kind of river thing, running back through there. So if this is the end of her property, you know, I talked to Eric about <clears throat> living on my mom's land and he wants his own space, which I totally understand, but we could have a little place out here. My mom says she is able to build a mother-in-law suite. She can't sell it, parcel it out or anything, but she can build a mother-in-law kind of cabin cottage thing. So if we built something out here, he wouldn't even be able to see her house. Maybe one day. Okay, now all of you get in here. Ew. <clears throat> Who's all? All, who? all the kids, all of everybody. Oh. You got three cameras? No, um, I have a... Are you guys going to join us or not? Two? No. Gary, it's so I can do a wide pictures. screen. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Adrian Andrew. Happy birthday to you. First. No, you didn't. He's been waiting 14 years to finish you off. <laughs> Some more. Uh, and Mama's gonna show me. <clears throat> I guess some oyster mushrooms that she has. And then big. There. Right, here's. Some other forms. I like that. Like a little cave dwelling with food growing from the side. I don't know if it's actual food. And that Mom was wondering if these were possibly oyster mushrooms. Growing all in the cracks and crevices. Just colonies and colonies all down the log. Very cool. Even some babies popping up there. Check this one out. Little like cups just all over the. the Pine shavings from the chicken coop. Mom was throwing out here. Just all over this place here. I don't know if this is <clears throat> the way these grow or if they're just splitting. Oh, they're soft. I expected them to be harder than that. Because some of them, it looks like some of them stay. <clears throat> Stay rounded. And that. And the little bigger ones. And there's that guy. Hanging out. And this one. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Mom said she had someone come out and identify these as oyster mushrooms. 
and that um, this whole area was like covered there it was a massive massive colony and um, I guess she took some and uh, she was telling me about how to tell that they're oyster mushrooms and apparently there's lots of varieties but she's trying to let these grow big again something ate most of them she said and she's gonna harvest these but she's got a low cot she wants to get more of those and this is a sour plum All of these really tall plants here are chia that the chickens have just spread everywhere. This is pineapple, sage, or sativa, so something. I can't remember exactly which one she said it was. But that is also just growing wild everywhere. And then this bamboo, this thick forest of bamboo here, when she first moved in was like one or two little sprigs and it's completely taken over and uh, it's given the chickens a nice hiding place and a place to cool down in the summer. I think it looks really cool like that but mom says she's going to cut it back when it gets cooler um, and it's spreading to other parts of the yard as well. All oh, this is chia. Chickens like to eat it. She's got a bleeding heart vine here that's growing wild. I have these growing wild in my backyard as well. I just took some cuttings of. And then these ginger, pine cone ginger, I think she called it. She just told me that someone told her that they can be used these they look hard but they're actually soft and you can use them to wash your hair and they like lather and you can use them to wash your body and they have like a faint ginger smell so if you want want to go all natural and only use what you grow and find there you go. There's peanuts. All these, I can't remember what kind of chickens they are, but those are all named Peanut. Because she can't tell them apart. So, I'm going to be leaving my mom's farm in, in a few hours. She's in there cooking eggs and making toast for breakfast. And um, after she feeds everybody, we're going to be heading to Jacksonville so I can go home. It's been very, very nice. Spending time out here, it's like getting a reset. It's just calm and, I don't know. <laughs> so, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys around, show you some of the things that are growing out here on her property. And hopefully you enjoyed, and if you know anything about the mushrooms or any of the fungi or anything I showed you, make sure you leave a comment below because we would love to know about them. She is going to have somebody come out and like walk the entire property with her and tell her everything that's edible or useful um, so that you know she can grow more of it and use it and whatever so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time